Hey, hey, hey folks, today I'm going to show you how to make a pineapple pie. So, here we go. Here's my pineapple. I'm going to cut off the top and the bottom of the pineapple. I have limited space, so bear with me. I'm going to try to maneuver this pineapple so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Seems like the pineapple is not that ripe. I'm hoping I'm wrong. Okay, so now on to the next step. I've peeled off the skin of the pineapple. And I'm not going to throw away that. I put it in a bowl. I'm going to make a juice with that. So watch out for that recipe when I make a juice with the pineapple skin. So the next thing I'm going to just um, pick out the... You might have your technique for this, but it doesn't really bother me. I'm just going to cut off little black spots here like this. And this is... I'm also going to add this to, to make a juice. And then I'm going to cut up, cut up the pineapple into small pieces. I'm going to check out my recipe where I made them pineapple jam really, really nice. Let's really check out that. Okay, so I'll be back when this has been done. Completed. Okay, so here's my pineapple cut up into small pieces. It's not that very, very sweet, but if it's not that sweet, you'll have to add more sugar. And if it's, um, if it's sweeter, you, you'll have to add less sugar. But this will work for me. But it's very tasty. I'll keep on munching them. So I'm going to transfer this to my pot. In my measuring cup, I have half a cup of water. I'm going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm going to add this mixture when I'm cooking the pineapple. So I'm going to mix this a bit and set this aside. So let's go to the stove and start cooking the pineapple. So here's my pot with the pineapple on my stove. My fire is on medium heat. I'm going to add some sugar. I think this is half cup of sugar. Can't remember what I put. I mix that in together. Okay, the pot is heating up and the sugar is melting nicely. I'm mixing the sugar some more. Here's the pineapple coming along, coming along nicely. The, it has, the liquid has already gotten thick. That is because of the cornstarch. I also tasted it. It's, it's sweet, but it has a kind of tangy flavor still, but I'm not going to add any more sugar. Um, I think I'll like it like that. And um, I just want to say shout out to Marie Maguire for sharing this recipe. I'll leave a link for her channel in the description box below. I also want to do a shout out to Heather of All Around, All Around Vegan, very nice lady. Um, she's a Trinidadian living in, I think it's the USA, and she has more, um, more vegan recipes on her channel. Very, very nice recipes and very nice lady. And last shout out for today is Ryan of The View 868. He's a Trinidadian, he's a vlogger, he's a more tech guy. I mean, his channel is small now starting off, so give him a shout out. Let me know that I sent you. I'll leave links for their channels in the description box below. So I'll leave this for another 10 minutes more and continue with the process. So I just wanted to see the pastry dough I got in the grocery store, one big square. Let me show you the brand. Um, I think I used the same brand when I was making my current roll. Current rolls. Yes, I use the same brand, shortcake pastry block. So what I'm gonna do, I, I'm going to Cut it into half. Roll. I'm going to cut it into half. Roll it. Roll them up nicely, and then begin begin to knead it out. To roll it out, because I'll need a piece for the bottom of the pie and a piece for the top. So I'll be back. Okay. 
So this is, this is cooked pineapple. Nice and tender. So I'm going to transfer this in my baking dish that is already lined with the piece of pastry. Okay, here we go. But I just forgot to mention that I allow the pineapple, the cooked pineapple to cool first before I transfer it into the dish um, that is lined with the um, pastry dough. And there you have it. I put the, extra, the other piece of rolled out dough on top of the um, pineapple and I stick um, the fork into the top just to give it a little decorations. So I'm going to put this to bake. I always set at 350 degrees. This should take about 15 to 20 minutes to get nice color and to fully cook. Well, actually, pineapple is cooked and the pastry doesn't take that long to cook. So here's my pie after about 25 minutes. I would allow, I would allow it to cool before I cut it into it. When I was mixing the pineapple, I added two more tablespoons of sugar um, to make it a little sweet, to make it a little sweeter. Okay, folks, here's the pineapple pie looking absolutely fabulous and super, super delicious. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.